is Stacy. My topic is about legalizing marijuana. One of the most popular arguments people have about not legalizing marijuana is that people, um, that marijuana is harmful in many ways, like it damages the brain, um, damages the productive system, and it weakens the immune system. Also that marijuana is a gateway drug that opens the doors to harder drugs. Um, but marijuana is has physical benefits that can help um, medical conditions. For example, marijuana can be used for um, glaucoma, like like according to medical research studies, it has evidence to use that marijuana can lower um, IOP pressure in people with glaucoma. Glaucoma is among one of the leading causes of blindness in the world and it can reduce by using medical marijuana. The second thing that marijuana marijuana can help is reduce cancer growth. Marijuana help, helps reduce cancer growth by um, reducing the cells as they have great impact on rebuilding the immune system. According to medical cancer research, marijuana contains compounds called cannab cannabinoids, which can be useful in, in treating the side effects of cancer and cancer treatments by having the following effects. Anti-activity, blocking cell growth, and preventing the growth of blood vessels that supply tumors. The third thing that marijuana helps is arthritis pain. In medical research studies, TCH um, were, were found where they produce notable improvements in pain, quality, and sleep and to reduce disease activities in patients with arthritis. Both these compounds are among marijuana naturally occurring. The second claim I have is marijuana, marijuana helps psychological treatment. Marijuana reduces anxiety by improving the mood, the mood and slowing down the thoughts process, which can help to break up of this upsetting repeated thoughts patterns. Another thing is that marijuana helps depression by easing the stress and calms you down, which can evaluate through portions among being smoked. Marijuana also helps bipolar disorders that can significantly calm the swings because it has um, it stabilizes your mood. Marijuana helps uh, people who are suffering from insomnia. Um, like this type of marijuana is called indica, and that plant like it helps you like clear your mind and relaxes you from insomnia. Like it helps you calm down. Um, finally, legalizing marijuana is ob obviously a great and pro alternative for people who are suffering from chronic and physiological conditions because it helps to relieve the pain and also create a more natural and herbal feel. In addition, marijuana effects, effects has its benefits to re reduce cancer growth and add more time for medical officials to have more time to act the fact against preventions from cancer. Therefore, marijuana can be most prominent if you use responsibly and correctly.
All right, Stacy. I know you're making some last-minute adjustments, so uh, a couple of things tended out to work out okay, and some things didn't quite work out as well as you wanted. At the beginning, you're identifying the subject as being about legalizing marijuana, which sets up everybody thinking, well, this is, sounds like it's going to be a policy claim. And I think that you do have a claim of fact here, but it's kind of buried in a whole bunch of stuff that you develop, and, uh, and it's never clear what your proposition is, uh, especially at the beginning, because it sounds like you start off that you're going to give a hypothetical or, or you're going to give a refutation speech to a hypothetical claim of fact about all the negative things that people say about marijuana. So you, you, I'm going to set up a whole bunch of things that I'm going to counterattack. Then you don't really go there. It's really someplace completely different. So I think that that's a distraction. You don't want to have that in that opening. Uh, you really are trying to focus on the medical uses of marijuana. That's mostly what your argument is, and so that ought to be the clear proposition at the beginning. Get rid of this stuff about legalizing. Get rid of this stuff about trying to refute those other arguments and say, you know, marijuana has been approved in some places for medical use. Other places it hasn't been approved. There's a reason that there's controversy on this because people sometimes disagree about whether it has an effect. It's my argument that it does have a medical benefit for you. And I'm going to outline physical benefits that it has and psychological benefits for you. On those physical benefits, there are three particular things that I can defend. I can defend the glaucoma issue, I can def defend uh, cancer, and I can talk to you about arthritis. So let's talk about those three physical benefits that marijuana can have for you. And then you've got a much clearer focus and you're not kind of backing into the argument, you're driving into the argument, and that's really what everything's about. You do have a structure there, so I could pick it out. I'm just trying to tell you how you need to make that structure more obvious to the audience in the presentation. Here's where the weakness is. There is not really much source citation in this. There's not any evidence here. Uh, at one point, you referred to a, what sounded like a source citation. It says, medical cancer research. I don't know if that's a book. I don't know if that's an article. I don't know if that's your paraphrase for studies that I've read online someplace. I don't know what that information is. And it's a very vague reference. And even then, it's not a quote that's being presented here. And that's the closest that we get to having any specific source citation in the presentation. Uh, there's some reference, some data on glaucoma that's not clearly cited. Um, you know, there's a, there's a little bit of information that talks about uh, uh, arthritis. I think I could use some information on that, but even then, it's not, it's not any, there's not a doctor that says we need people to have access to this. There's not a study that says it reduces the amount of pain by 20%. There's not uh, any expert that had research that says here are the ways in which uh, cancer could be addressed by these issues. There's a lot of theoretical explanation on it, but I don't hear any proof on those kinds of things. Basically, I'm getting claims without the grounds and the warrants to back that up. Sometimes there's a little bit of a warrant to explain how this would work, but the grounds are missing there, and that seems to me the weak element of the argument. Uh, let's see. Um, all the stuff... The Indiga, is that the... Uh Indica. Say it again. Indica. Indica. I, d I don't know how you spell it. I just uh, I did the best I could on this. You make the reference that and how it cures insomnia, and I'm going, and where's the proof on this? I, I, I didn't have it. I don't know what distinguishes this uh, variety of species from any other variety of species. I don't have any reason to believe that it's more effective for insomnia than anything else. Um, uh, there was no information on the, um, the psychological benefits that you cited. There, there wasn't anything that backed up those points. So that's the weak part of the argument, is the, is the lack of evidence on the information. 
Um, you're, you're reading and you sound a little uncertain and I think that's probably because you're having to make changes at the last minute and you're doing this. And so it's, it's a little underprepared and I think you know that. I'm not telling you anything that you don't know in that situation. So I'm just reminding you so that you know that I noticed it too. Okay, thank you.